Here we have the buyer's guide to electric vehicles, but if you look at it, you know, it's um, 1994 and, and nothing much has changed. It's now 2010, March 17, and we see what they've got is these little puddle jumpers here. So 1994 to 2010, there's been there's been a lot of enthusiasm. Emissions emissions impossible. Benefits of electric vehicles. You know, ironically, after this thing, there's the AC propulsion long ranger trailer, and and here's <laughs> cars with windmills and solar panels on the roof and stuff. Solar cells, curbside recharging. Here's all the conversions that people have done. You know, and and now in 2006, in 2010, we're sort of in the same the same exact position. You know, we got we got no electric vehicles for sale except for um, except for the Tesla and promises. So <laughs> here's the conversion services. And you know, these guys, most of them are out of business now. Uh, one guy here said that the way to make a million dollars in electric cars is to start with two million. <laughs> so, uh, it just isn't, it's not very easy to make money doing conversions. So that that's the story on on electric cars. You know, they <laughs> there were electric cars in 1996, and then they were taken away, and we're back to where we were in 1994. Here is a nice thing. There were actually rentals, electric car rentals at one time. There's a company called ED Rental at LAX. You can actually go and rent an electric car. And here's General Motors gloss on the EV1, as if they were honest. It will be available in 1999. Orders are now being taken for the Saturn Electric Vehicle Marketing Specialist Team. <laughs> 1999 nickel metal hydride. The 1999 improved lead acid EV1. Uh, it has lease payments of 424. The other one is lease payments of 499. Uh, the 1997 are currently still available. They say the Delphi lead acid and the um, these are the ones with defective batteries. <laughs> 